five and this is it guys this is the final part of the structure if you're already ahead of me if not okay now before you go on to this again you want to dry fit so I started dry fitting and because it is broader in the back you really shouldn't have a problem you should be able to stick five in which is what happened here so five fits in here again each one that I have made has been different it just depends on how I put it together so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a glop the top and work very quickly because I know you're tired of hearing me talk I know my daughter is saying God mom hurry again do not worry about the cobwebs it does not matter your heat gun will do that next it's part of that structural thing and you're going to shove those in and you're going to have a back and you want to make sure you can get them level there you go and I'm going to actually be putting magnet on the back to where they can put paper clips or you can put the notepad sticky notes on the back you can figure out to clip it or you can put a magnet on the back or you can put it on the front. It depends on how you want to do it. You can initial it. You don't have to put a magnet on it. It's up to you. Now, the one thing that I am going to suggest if you want, uh, here is the suggestion because there is part of this not showing. If you don't want it to show, depending on how you're going to do it, you can cut this piece down to go in to this location here and, and on the opposite side for more of a finished look. That's your choice. But there is one thing that I actually do on this particular design that I do not do on my first design is I put a piece right here so that it is um, structurally sound here for the um, clothes or for the pen so that it doesn't gap out. So if you're noticing what I'm going to do and I'm going to show you, it really does depend on how you do it. Now what I do is I put, see that every one of them is different. I'm just double checking which side's going to work best. Okay, so this side's going to work best. If you look, you'll check, and one side is always going to be in farther. Don't ask me why. It's just the way it works. I am going to dry fit, and this is going to be uh, acts as a stopper. You don't really need it, but I do it on this design because it, it is it is a nice little piece and structure. And I'm going to go across the back. And ladies, that if you've been following me and you did one on the live, um, this is some extra things that I have found making additional ones. How to do a better, a better um, structure, better support piece in the back. Again, when you're making so many of them, you figure out all the little details. And I figured it out when I could sit down and do them. And I'm just pulling out the excess glue. Now, you can stop there or you can put another piece on, but I'm going to actually leave this one because it's straightened back. You don't need to put an extra piece on. You can put another piece on and cross it if you want. Usually it's the opposite effect or it's the same effect. It just depends on how you want to cross that. One is enough if you want to do a box. You can also build a box underneath it. It's not a very big box. Um, but that is an extra support piece and again for example here's my my white gel pen and it fits right down in there so there you guys go there is my second design this is the fifth part it does matter to watch every section if you've never made one it's absolutely vital to uh, to make each one and then okay here's the other part you need to do this is where if it's a little off you're going to take your heat gun to it you're going to move it just a little bit. Again, the, the hot glue acts as a, um, a quick hold, but it also is flexible. Um, so I'll be finishing this one up. But when you get it done, you want to take a single, you're going to use two single-use super glues um, or a bottle. doesn't really matter. I use a single-use because it's easier and I don't have to worry about them drying up. And you're going to go in and you're going to super glue every cranny of every opening every piece that you glued together it's going to solidify that and when it's done when it's dry I'd let it dry an hour or two or use your heat gun to enhance I wouldn't really use the heat gun because you don't want the uh, glue to melt yet you want the super glue to go in and penetrate through the wood and hold it and lock it together and then you take your heat gun to it and you go in and you um, get in all the cobwebs I actually go in with my finger and I get all the extra stuff out just in case somebody looks at it because 
I know that when I like look to look at it, I want to make sure that, because especially when somebody's new never seen it, I get in and get all that extra glue out. It gets rid of all the cobwebs. And then I suggest painting it. I don't suggest spray paint because spray paint will cost you a fortune to cover uh, uh, clothespins. And trust me, that's the reason why my first one was black and the, um, and the um, Earth Day Swap one because I it took like five cans. It's just not worth it. Acrylic paint. Use the uh, um, ink. Use the sprays. Use whatever. Solidify it. Sprays, you do got to worry uh, with the glue that it may not penetrate all the way. Um, but then you can just decorate them to town and I use a lot of the Prima flowers, silk flowers. Um, this is where gears and a whole bunch of stuff come in. Depends on who you're making it for. Um, and again, if you're doing it for stick pins, I would find something twice the thickness of this. And you're going to want to cut it down and double it over and then cover it with fabric or, um, and you can sew it. You can make it with the little beanies, the little bead stuff, um, or, um, foam um cork and cover it but i i've used fabric and i've used fufu boas um but on this one i'm actually just going to do cork because it is for teachers but i hope you guys like it enjoy it and i will be back with the original design that looks more just like a rocker with no pocket and it's a little taller a little more structured and it's really beautiful bye guys